In this module, I'll cover how to scale SignalR on the server. Specifically, the problem of introducing multiple servers and the two current solutions using Redis and Azure SignalR service. In this course, I've been running a single ASP.NET Core host, which my browser's been connecting to. This single server model works fine until it cannot handle the load or volume of the HTTP requests. Typically to scale, we would introduce a load balancer and add additional instances of our application. Introducing the load balancer in multiple instances with SignalR is a problem because SignalR keeps track of the connected clients in each process. For example, we have client A which makes a connection to the load balancer and it sends that request to ASP.NET Core instance number one. Then we have a new client B which the load balancer sends to our ASP.NET Core instance number three. At this point, any messages sent by instance number one will only be received by client A. Instance number three will only be able to send messages to client B. This is because there's no communication between instance number one and instance number three about which clients are connecting and disconnecting. To solve this, there needs to be a mechanism for the instances to communicate with each other. Luckily, there are two solutions provided by Microsoft. You can use the SignalR Redis package, which requires you to manage your own instance of Redis, or there's a full turnkey solution in the Azure SignalR service. In this module, I'll show you how to configure and use both.